One way to monitor forecasts to ensure that they are performing well is to use a tracking signal. When we say tracking signal, it is a measurement of how well a forecast is predicting actual values. As forecasts are updated every week, months, or quarter, the newly available demand data are compared to the forecast values. So the tracking signal is computed as the cumulative error ito po yun, ah, cumulative error divided by the mean absolute deviation. We have the formula here, the tracking signal. So positive tracking signal indicates that demand is greater than the forecast, while the negative signals mean mean that demand is less than the forecast. So we have the sinasabi natin kapag maganda yung tracking signal natin, kapag meron tayong low cumulative error. Diba? So ibig sabihin, as much as positive error as it has negative error. So mas kailangan mas malaki yung, yung positive error mo Tama, di ba? At the same time, you have your less than, less the error. I mean, sorry, uh, I mean, uh, a good tracking signal, one with a low cumulative error, has about as much positive error as it has negative error. In other words, small deviations are okay, but positive and negative error should be balanced. Okay po, yun yung ibig kong sabihin. Should be balanced one another so that the tracking signal centers closely around zero. Okay po. So para lang din siyang ano eh, uh, statistical process control. So you have the control limit dapat within the boundaries yung or within the control yung tracking signal mo. Okay po. So when we say forecast bias naman, a forecast that is con consistently higher or consistently lower than the actual values of a time. So you should take note that one mod or one mean absolute deviation is equivalent to approximately 0.8 standard deviations. Okay po. And the, posit the plus minus 2 mods is equals to plus minus 1.6 standard deviation. 3 plus 3 plus or minus 3 match is equals to plus or positive negative 2.4 standard deviations. Diba? Yung positive negative 4 match, the control limit natin, it could be a positive or negative 3.2 standard deviations. This fact suggests that for a forecast to be in control, diba? 89% of the errors are suspected to fall within positive to negative 2 months or 98% within positive or negative 3 months or 99.9% .9 within positive or negative months. Okay po. So, kung yung intindihan yung 3, typo error lang yan. So, for example, for the monitoring controlling forecast, Carlson Bakery wants to evaluate the performance of its Pandesal forecast. Develop a tracking signal for the forecast and see if it stays within acceptable limits which we define as positive or negative formats or the 99.9%. So ano ba yung formats natin. Kung titignan natin dito, dapat meron lang tayo 3.2 standard deviations. Okay po. Check natin kung pasok ba yon sa formats natin. Okay po. So, here is the data. The data we have, we have the actual demand, the forecast demand, and the six quarters. So, yung error natin dito, diba, 90 when we say forecast errors, 
actual minus the forecast, di ba? So, 90 minus 100, we have negative 10. It is not an absolute error, ha? it's an error. So, 95 minus 100, we have negative 5. So, 115 minus 100, we have positive 15. Error. 100 minus 110, we have negative 10. 125 minus 110, we have positive 15. 140 minus 110, we have 30. Uh, sorry. 30 errors, positive 30 errors. So for the cumulative error, the ba, 10, we have 10. Negative 10 plus negative 5, negative 15. Negative 15 plus positive 15, 0. 0 plus negative 10, we have negative 10. Negative 10 plus positive 15, we have positive 5. Positive 5 plus positive 30, we have 35. Positive. Okay po. Then, absolute forecast error. Anong titignan natin sa absolute forecast error? Ito ba yung cumulative o ito yung error? Correct. This is yung absolute forecast error natin. We have 10, 5, 15, 10, 15, 30. Okay po. Cumulative absolute forecast error. What is the cumulative Absolute forecast error. So we have 10 plus 5, 15. Plus 15, we have 30. Plus 10, we have 40. Plus 15, we have 55. Plus 30, we have 85. Ay po. The mean absolute deviation. Ano yung formula natin ng mean absolute deviation? Forecast error divided by the number of periods. Diba? So, for the first quarter, ano yung error natin? 10. Diba? Divided by ilang year? Ay, ilang quarter? 1. So, we have 10. Diba? Next. Ab ano yung mean absolute deviation? We have 15. Tama ba? Divided by ilang quarter? 2. Pang second quarter na tayo, ba? We have 7.5. Next. We have 30. Diba? Summation. 30. Divided by ilang years, ay ilang quarter, 3. We have 10. Very good. So, 40 divided by 4, we have, sorry, we have 10 pa rin. Okay po. So, 55. Divided by 5, we have 11. So, 85 divided by 6, we have 14.2. How to compute the tracking signal? Diba? Sabi natin sa tracking signal, ang formula natin for the tracking signal is Cumulative error divided by by the MAD. Diba? Cumulative error. Ito yun. Cumulative error divided by by the MAD. So, 
negative 10 divided by 10 is equals to negative 1. Tama ba? Negative 15 divided by 7.5 is equals to negative 2. Cumulative error of 0 divided by 10 is equals to 0. Ay po. Next, negative 10 divided by 10 is equals to negative 1. Galing. So, 5 divided by mad na 11. We have positive 0 0.5. So, 35 divided by 14.2 is equals to positive 2.5. So, therefore, yung mad natin, diba? kung titignan natin, nakumpit na natin yung mad, no? pero to make it clear, yung mad natin is equals to forecast error. Ilan ba yung forecast error natin? Absolute forecast error. We have 85. Diba? This one, 85. And then, ilang, ilang period? We have 6. We have 14.2. Diba? So, yung tracking signal natin is equals to cumulative error which is 35 divided by the MAD, the 14.2 is equals to 2.5 MAD. Sorry. MAD, diba? Mean absolute deviations. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Since, because the tracking signal drifted from negative 2, yung tracking signal na natin to, nag-drift from negative 2 to positive 2.5, diba? Yung tracking signal natin, yung ibig lang sabihin nito, we can conclude that the, the tracking signal is within the acceptable limit. Kasi, diba? Sabi sa problem, uh, if it stays within the acceptable limit with the positive or negative or mad. So, yung mads natin is nasa 2.5 and yung tracking signal, ay yes, and yung control limit natin, ay yung tracking signal natin is in between negative 2 to positive 2.5. So, pasok siya. Diba? Pasok na pasok. Kung may question, just type your, just type your question in the comment section lang po.